Good morning, YouTubers. T Square here with T Square Talks. Hope everybody's having a great day. Have I got a great video planned out for you guys today? We're going to be discussing what the Fed could be doing today. What's going on with the Fed meeting? We're going to be discussing. You know, do you think they'll lower interest rates? Do you think they'll raise them? Do you think they're going to kick the can down the road? I think they're going to discuss interest rates. Uh, getting lowered, but I don't think they're going to actually do it today. I think they're going to do it in September. There's multiple reasons why I think they're going to do it in September. And let me know in the comments below. Do you think they're going to cut rates? Do you think they're going to keep them the same? What do you think they're going to do? Uh, if you guys enjoy this video, please take a quick minute, hit that thumbs up button, leave me a comment. And if you're not subscribed, do the ultimate and subscribe. If you would like to become a member, you can join for only $1.99 a month right now. It's super awesome because your comments, you'll get a star next to your name. Your comments go straight to my phone. And on top of all that, we do at least one event where you have a shot at winning an ounce of silver every month, which is pretty cool. So every month we do a special event. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video. So what's going on with the Fed? I mean, we're going to discuss the Fed and we're going to discuss kind of at the same time why I believe silver is a good investment. Uh, I may be moving in multiple directions a little bit with that, explaining that. Why do I think silver is such a great investment? I think it's especially a great investment right now because what's going on with the Fed? The Fed knows they're going to have to lower interest rates pretty soon. I don't think they're going to do it today, but I do think it's coming. But here's what I do think. I think today they're going to discuss lower interest rates. They're going to they're going to be talking about it. But they've been dangling a carrot for so long. A lot of people are losing faith. Is it coming? You know, we for a while there they were saying we may not get one at all. Uh, any lowering this year, I think they're going to lower it. I think they're going to lower it in September though. And I, I think that's going to have a drastic impact on silver. I think silver is going to go a whole lot higher once they do cut rates. I think that we are seeing a repeat of 2011 playing out. Right now, we're seeing the pullback. The pullback on precious metals where it came down. And just like it came down before it had that tremendous run up in 2011, that's exactly what it's doing right now. And I think a lot of it has to do with short positions covering because they know the people that are shorting silver know 100% almost that once they cut rates, money gets cheap. Once money gets cheap and plentiful, prices of everything go up. And therefore, you will probably see the price of precious metals go up. I had someone ask me today, you know, well, if that's the case, how come gold wasn't higher when pressure when the spot price or how come gold wasn't higher when the interest rates were lower before you know there's a lot of reasons why they're lowering interest rates uh, and there's a lot of reasons why gold and silver will go up one of the big factors is the economy is definitely getting into a hard spot it's going to be harder and harder to find investments that are going to make you money and if interest rates are coming down then you're not going to get as much money or interest on your bonds, your CDs, that type of stuff. We've had a nice little run where, you know, you could put some money in the bank, a nice CD, and get 5.5%. Now, it's 5.5% a lot of money, not when inflation was what it was doing. I know they have their little fake numbers. I, I call them fake numbers, and some people will disagree with that. However, they keep revising the numbers every single time they put out some kind of economic numbers. They almost always revise them time and time again. And, you know, they never talk about the revises. They only talk about the official numbers when they first roll out. You know, like jobs numbers comes out, boom, we hear it, everybody's excited. Oh, the economy's so great, the job numbers are good. And then all of a sudden, revise. Uh, you know, GDP numbers, everything. It's all, I hate to say it, BS. And I'll be honest and say I think a lot of the economy is rigged anyway. And it's done through shorting, contracts, um, basically by if you put out a contract that you're going to you're going to borrow thousands and thousands and thousands of ounces you're going to push them on the market and drive the price down and eventually you have to pay those contracts back or on top of that you have a lot of people buying paper silver paper gold uh, it's not real physical 
So therefore, you know, we all know that there's right now, and they'll average, they they say this openly. There's like 400 paper contracts of silver for every one physical ounce of silver. Think about how many paper contracts are out there just if you were to compare it to what you see on the screen right here. I mean, when you're talking 400 to one ounce, that's pretty insane. And I can tell you, I got mine. I have my silver, so you know, even if the paper and the spot, whatever, it can do whatever. I've got mine already. And I think a lot of you guys have yours because you've been taking advantage. You've been buying the dips. Uh, I know I talked to some people and they've messaged me and said, you should wait. The price is going to go down to 26. I don't think the price, I was shocked that we saw 2730, but it was a quick drop and it quickly recovered. I don't see that we're going to see much lower. I actually think once they give the Fed meeting tomorrow, we're going to see a lot of prices, including precious metals, jump. Now, personally, because I have a bet with a member right now, I'm hoping we see a quick jump to 30. Will I be happy if the price comes down? Of course. I mean, because then I can get more for my money. But here's the thing. I've been buying. And as the price goes up, I do slow down a little bit on buying. And I pay back. I've told you guys time and time again, despite, I know a lot of people will say, and it is not recommended, definitely not recommended that you buy silver or gold on credit. It can put you in a really bad spot. However, I've done it time and time again, and I always do it when we see these nice dips. Now, could it dip lower? I'll be honest, if the price of silver falls to 26 now, and I just charged up some cards and bought on this dip, then I'm going to feel a little disappointed, but it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, you know, I think price of precious metals are going to go a whole lot higher. I think a lot of it's going to happen when they lower when they lower the interest rates. That is coming. And, you know, for the people out there that are going to probably leave naysayer comments about silver, you know, we've seen silver constantly going up. Yeah, we've seen a nice little pullback. But overall for the year, it's still up a nice percentage. I mean, you're talking 17% right now, I think, up. That's pretty good numbers. That's not taking into account whatever it did today. I know it did go up another 50 cents today because we were down as low as $17. I'm sorry, $27.30. 17 would be really nice, but it ain't coming. Uh, $27.30. And then all of a sudden, it started climbing again. And it, it instantly took back that, but now it went even higher. It's at $18.55. At the time of me filming this video in the middle of the night, Monday night, Tuesday morning. You know, so a lot of people are going to miss that opportunity. I know I talk to a lot of you guys in the comments. I try to reply back to every comment, but I think that we're going to see it continue to run up. And I know some people out there are going to be like, I'm not going to bet my future on your thinking. And and maybe I, I get such a kick when I read comments like that. It is It is funny. But I mean, we can see what's happening. Now, the biggest question is, could it go down to 26? So here's the thing. They're not going to probably do anything today. So they're not going to lower interest rates today, which means we could end up seeing the dangling of the carrot. Oh, we're going to lower interest rates, the all talk, or how did someone say all jaw, no, I don't know, something. No bone. Uh, but needless to say, they're going to keep lowering. I believe that they're going to keep talking about it, but they're not going to actually lower until September, which means between today and September, we could possibly see a little bit more of a pullback. Personally, I think we're going to see a nice little jump today, and that's going to drive the price up. That's going to scare a lot of people. They're going to rush out. They're going to put in their orders at a essentially a higher price. And I think that's could be the reason why we're seeing that 55 cent uptick right now is because, you know, they know that it's going to tick a little higher. But here's the thing. That's paper. If I was buying, if I was playing the paper market, yeah, I would buy some today too. I would even buy it at the 55 cent higher right now. In fact, when I get off the stream, I might go and check my Robinhood account and buy some now that I'm thinking about it. Why? Because tomorrow when it jumps up another 50 cents or a dollar and everybody's talking about it and then I'll just turn around and just sell my paper position right off. Now, another thing, paper positions. 
you know. Uh, a lot of people are like, you shouldn't buy paper, you shouldn't support it. You know, if I have an opportunity to make a quick few dollars, and I say a few dollars, I might put, you know, three, four, five grand in on SLV, hoping that we'll see that jump tomorrow and then hurry up and get out. I think that it. I hold physical because I hold physical. I don't really worry so much what the paper does. I do also believe that we're in for a, we're going to see pretty soon some sort of a major drop or a correction in the stock market. You can't have these numbers as high up as they are and as they have been without some sort of a correction. And when you have that uncertainty in the stock market, people start looking, where can I put my money? The initial reaction, when stocks fall, you'll see a lot of paper gold, a lot of paper silver get sold off, and that will drive the price down. But it doesn't take long before smart money starts pushing in because they understand it's a safe haven asset. You know, so even if everything's coming down, I wouldn't try to time it exactly to be able to sell my paper contracts only to kind of rebuy in right after that, you know, when it, after it starts going up again, after it dips. But, you know, all that being said, the big question is what's the Fed going to do? And I know some people out there are going to have their own take on this, their own opinion, but I don't see that we're going to lower interest rates. They, they have multiple reasons why. I, I don't like to get too political, but I do believe there are also political reasons why they're going to wait to lower them until September. Um, and I think that's going to be a major factor in, in what happens. So with that being said, I don't have a super long video for you guys. Um, I just, I, I really, I, I think that people need to be taking advantage of the opportunity that's there. And I mean, $26, when I hear $26, that's why I was willing to bet on it that that we won't see it because i mean it, it's hard but it's not just the 26 dollars with the one person that i place the bet with i i hear it from a lot of other people i hear a lot of people saying that you know gold and silver are about ready to take a huge correction and the stock market's about to collapse and it's going to collapse gold and silver with it you know the truth of the matter is when everything starts going bad at first yeah you see a little bit of a pullback but a lot of big companies that have physical are not willing to part with it at a super low price. The premiums skyrocket, the spot price might come down, no one's selling it at spot, so it really doesn't matter. And as time goes on, the price just starts climbing higher and higher. So it depends what you guys want to do. Let me know in the comments what you guys think is going to happen. I know I've been buying kind of heavy. I actually have a meeting with someone tomorrow who has been buying a lady's collection and he kind of wanted my opinion, uh, more my opinion on if I'm interested in some of the stuff. Um, so I'm hoping I'll pick up a couple good deals, but I'm kind of in a little heavy right now because uh, I have been heavy buying the dip and I, I want to take full advantage of the dip. In fact, I should have a big package hopefully coming in the next couple days. Um, if it's been lost now for like three weeks in the mail, I'm kind of disappointed uh, because it is gold. So, but we'll see what happens on that note. So hopefully by the time you guys are watching this, I'll already have my package. But with that being said, I thank everybody for watching. Not a long video today, um, but it is important to address. So don't freak out if you start seeing the price climb. Uh, don't think that's the end of the world, but no look for dips, look for deals. Uh, silvers and gold both are great investments. I like silver better. I've had some people ask me, close friends have asked me, then why do you even buy gold? You know gold is not going to double before silver doubles. And, and I agree with that. We will see silver double in price before we see gold double in price. However, gold has a lot of other factors. In fact, I saw a comment today that really did a great job explaining it, that gold is for a savings account. Silver is to get rich quick. 
And I know some people are going to be like, you ain't getting rich quick off silver. That's true. You're probably not going to get rich quick on it. But you have a lot of potential to make a good amount of money off of your silver investment. Whereas gold will be slow and steady and stable. And I expect that when we see that gold-silver ratio really come down, I will be switching a lot of my silver over to gold. Uh, and I'll be basically uh, explaining to people and, and kind of playing that fear. I hate to say that like that. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to see silver just explode in price and and all of a sudden they're going to be like, darn, I bought gold. I want to be a part of the big gains. And they're going to be looking to trade in. And who knows what will happen. Maybe it will keep going indefinitely. But as for me, I will want to get some of that stable, secure gold, you know, and, uh, and I'm willing to, at that point, take a little bit of less profits to keep my gains because just when silver starts to really skyrocket, I mean, look at what it did in, in 2011, it shot all the way up 50 bucks. It only took like a, a day or two for it to drop back down to 35. Now, I don't think 50 bucks in today's world is a lot. I think when we see that major, major run up, it is going to run higher and it's going to run faster. I think we may see a little bit of a slowdown in the $50 range because there's going to be a lot of people that are going to want to get out thinking, oh, we're at the all time high again. But there's also going to be a lot of people that are going to be buying. Because they know the trend is there. Just like when we saw gold top its all-time high and then slowly creep through, it slowed down, and then all of a sudden just exploded through it. $50, $60, $70 a day gains until it got all the way up to $2,440. And then a pullback. And then we push through with some a little bit of hard times. We push through to twenty four hundred and sixty dollars, and then we pulled back, and we pulled back a good amount, and then it started creeping back up. And at the time of filming this, gold is at twenty four ten. Think about that twenty four ten. That's only fifty dollars off from its all time high. And people think. Oh, it's slowing down because it's at an all-time high. It's not going to go any higher. Don't think that for a minute. You know, we're going to see it run. And silver, when it runs, it is going to run. And hopefully people are in it. I, I can't wait to hear people's comments when it does skyrocket to $100. Seeing all the great comments, all the positive feeds about how silver changed their life, their, their financial situation. I mean, I know some people will make comments, oh, you're not going to be a millionaire off of silver. Uh, everybody is going to have a difference of opinion uh, on that. You can do really well on silver if you really believe in it now and you're stacking it. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video uh, five minutes after I said I was going to wrap it up. <laughs> Someone probably got off at 14 minutes and then and then I kept talking. With that being said, I thank everybody for watching. Uh, if you get a minute, help me out. Go check out my shorts. 